This is Thundee from borderwork.com and today I'll be doing a speed test of uh, wireless networks. Um, now that we have Verizon's 4G LT devices out, we can go ahead and see what um, all the different carriers are doing with their different 4G networks. Um, <clears throat> so we do have an iPhone which is at and uh, best uh, uh, top selling smartphone uh, over here. We do have the T-Mobile G2 which does uh, theoretical 40 megabits per second on T-Mobile and the Psychic 4G which does 21 megabits per second on T-Mobile. This uh, is the Sprint uh, Evo which of course uh, is a 4G phone from Sprint and we do have on the right hand side here the uh, HTC Thunderbolt which um, Verizon states does between 5 to 12 on 4G LTE. Now I'm in the Boston area so quick things to note is that um, <clears throat> in Boston uh, I believe uh, T-Mobile hasn't gone to 40 megabits per second yet or 21 so that could weigh into factors of this uh, speed test. But what we're, we're going to do for each device is run three speed tests for downloads and upload speeds and definitely and, and basically just weigh out the averages and compare all three. But in T-Mobile's case we'll be using a 40 megabits uh, per second device and a 21 megabit per second device. So let's go ahead and start this off with the iPhone uh, 4G and see how well that compares. So I'm just going to bring this down. So you guys can take a closer look. Already, this is the first test I ran there. It said five, uh, five point two megabits per second. So I'm gonna actually start with three tests initially. Um, what's it by DCI location Boston? So restart test. And one thing to note is that the iPhone does take a long time to complete its testing compared to the other devices. So we have 2.87 for uh, download speeds, first test. And 1.82 for uploads. So let's do the second one. And basically we're just going to do the averages of all three uh, tests and then use that to compare with all devices. Again, this is an average of about 2.31 for downloads and uploads 1.78. And finally, the third test. That's pretty, it's picked up. So, looks like we're getting about 8.53. And 2.37. So, wonderful Evo, which is one of the first 4G devices that came out last year. Let's do a speed test. Set that up. Um, location is Boston, so it's the same location we had. Testing ping. First test goes up. Five point seven for downloads for the first test. Uploads is 7, uh, 19 kilobits per second. So that's less than uh, 1 megabit per second. Although it says kilobits there, it's actually, I can change that to megabits. Download there for the second test, 7.1. Uploads at 5.65. I need to try this eventually. And the last test.
five megabits per second or five point five. And 581. So, what we can quickly deduce here from the uh, Evo 4G is that um, it does have pretty good uh, down, um, download speeds, but the upload speeds are very, very low, less than one megabit uh, on the upload speeds. And first device would be the G2, which does theoretical 14 megabits per second. Let's do a test here. Location Boston, Mass. So the first test is at 3 megabits per second for downloads. Uploads at 1 megabit per second. So we start that test, the second one. Four megabits per second for downloads and second test. And 1.2. Find the third test. Four point two seven for downloads. And about one point two. So we can so let's try out the uh, psychic four G, which is has a theoretical rate of twenty one megabits per second. Okay, apps, speed test. So this does 21 theoretically, and I know Boston uh, Network isn't up to 21 yet, so let's see how well this fares. So that is six for downloads. About 1.7 for uploads. Again, another six again, 6.7 for downloads. And the 1.7 for uploads. Finally, on the third, third try, 10.3 for downloads and uploads at roughly 1.7 so you do get a significantly more uh, uh, higher boost with the psychic 4g because it's a 21 megabit per second device so I guess that plays a lot to how much your download speeds are for this and finally we'll be using the Thunderbolts on Verizon which Verizon claims their uh, LT network does 5 to 12 for downloads and um, and two to five for uploads, so you can already see something I've used it. But location is in Syracuse, New Jersey, so we're going to restart the test. First run. First run is 25 megabits per second for downloads and three megabits per second for uploads. Second run is 26 megabits per second for downloads and um, 3.92 for uploads. Last final test 21 megabits per second for downloads and 5.5 for uploads. So, so um, done our speed test on all devices, and clearly the winner, or at least from my little non scientific study here, is uh, Verizon. Um, the 4G speeds are past, you know, 20 megabits per second on average, and uh, which is higher than what they stated between 5 to 12, That's at least in the Boston area. And the, um, the upload speeds are still in line with what they have at between 2 to 5. Um, uh, AT&T and, uh, and, and T-Mobile are still close second, though AT&T's network tends to differ in speeds. There are very high jumps between 4 and 8, 
uh, T-Mobile uh, with, with on the iPhone T-Mobile with the um, I, I guess what it seems to T-Mobile is if you do have a 21 megabit per second device like the uh, Psychic 4G or the Samsung Vibrant 4G um, you will get higher speeds uh, the average there was about six and on the uh, G2 the average there was about four so so there's there's a significant boost then again their network hasn't been fully upgraded nationwide so hope hopefully we see better improvement in that and um, on uh, Sprint, Sprint network was consistent with its download speeds of about, f or average of about five, but it had very low upload speeds of less than one megabit per second. So um, that's just showing you the different download upload speeds, so you guys can make your decisions on you know what carrier best suits you for your, uh, I guess your web browsing and your downloads. But clearly, uh, Verizon does have the faster network by a large margin beyond any. Um, uh, recognition or claim by any other carrier uh, out there. It may not be nationwide, but at least in the areas where 4G LTE is covered, it does have the highest. Um, T-Mobile says probably the most consistent out of all three of them, uh, in the sense that the downloads upload speeds are still have the same averages, but it depends on what device you have on the T-Mobile network. So, if you guys have any questions or comments about this non-scientific study that I tried to attempt to do on a rainy day. Um, let us know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and um, and also on YouTube. It's all Border Work with two O's. So this is Thunder E from Border Work saying thank you and um, always enjoy entertainment.